Envoy was designed to be a high-performance proxy in the service mesh. You can deploy it to the VM or in the pod as a sidecar. Keep this in mind while we test. It will intercept all the requests and forward them to the target proxy. Nginx, on the other hand, was designed to be a web server that you can also use as a reverse proxy. They both support HTTP2, gRPC, load balancing and other features common to the proxies. We'll use Terraform and Ansible to create AWS VPC, set up the network and deploy EC2 instances. First, we'll test how those proxies handle plain HTTP requests. Then, we'll use HTTPS for the same test and terminate TLS on the proxy level. For the final test, we'll use gRPC capabilities and also terminate TLS on the proxy side. As a backend, we'll use Fast HTTP library and official gRPC SDK for the Golang. To measure CPU usage of the proxies, we'll use Prometheus and Node Exporter. To track the number of requests, we'll use Open Telemetry and expose it as a Prometheus matrix as well. We'll use K6 load testing tool to calculate the latency of the requests to each proxy. Let me know if you want me to measure anything else in these tests. You can find the source code in my GitHub repo, as well as you can use deploy script as a base for your deployments. Let's start with configuring Envoy. It's very verbose compared to Nginx. Optionally, you can expose the admin panel, which includes Prometheus metrics. For the first test, we want to expose port 80. You can save access logs in the file. For this test, we want to forward all the requests that are coming to this domain to my app cluster. Now, my app cluster consists of endpoints. Here we have a single backend instance where I want to route all the traffic. For the second HTTPS test, we'll use the same cluster. To terminate TLS on the proxy level, you want to open 403 port and add transport socket property. Now, here it is important to explicitly enable HTTP2. Also, let's use the TLS 1.3 protocol in both proxies and specify the certificate and the private key. As you may notice, Envoy is is very customizable and not beginner friendly. For gRPC, open another 8.4.3 port, but in this case, forward it to the gRPC app cluster. To install the latest Envoy version, you can pull the binary from the GitHub releases page. Right now, the latest version is 1.25. Ansible has a concept of handlers. You can define one, for example, to restart the service. If the content of one of the files changes, it will notify the handler and trigger the restart. Next is Nginx. The config is much smaller. We open the port 80 and forward the requests to the backend service. For HTTPS, you need to specify a SSL directive and also explicitly enable HTTP2 protocol. Then provide the certificate and the private key and set the TLS protocol version to 1.3. It's just for the test to use the same protocols on both proxies. Finally, to forward gRPC requests, you just need to replace proxy pass with gRPC pass if your upstream server does not use TLS. Let's run the first test. As you may notice, Envoy is only capable of handling around 8 to 900 requests per second. On the bottom graph, the CPU spikes to 100%. At the high, Nginx was able to handle almost 4000 requests per second, while Envoy only 900 requests per second. Again, I use default settings for both proxies. I'm aware you can optimize each of them. Now, let's run the second test with HTTPS. We have a similar situation here. Envoy can only process around 900 requests per second, while Nginx can do around 1500 requests per second. Envoy at this test fail more multiple times and the systemd manager after third try disabled it. Let me run the same test but with only 500 users. You can see that latency for Nginx and Envoy is very similar when we're not taking it to the extreme. Now the final gRPC test. Here actually Envoy shows that it can process more gRPC requests with lower CPU usage than Nginx. But I wouldn't run it with more than 200 requests per second. They don't look stable to me. Again I'll rerun this test with only 100 and 50 virtual users to show the working latency of the requests. Envoy latency is one millisecond better than Nginx in this gRPC test. Even if Envoy has age proxy capabilities, I would still prefer to use Nginx. Nginx is way more beginner friendly than Envoy. On the other hand, Envoy is great at gRPC forwarding. And since it can be programmatically configured, it is a perfect proxy for service mesh such as Istio. I have a playlist with benchmarks that you may find interesting. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.